Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. I'm Nathan Osmond and today we're going to be talking about owner financing, seller financing, what's working here in the real estate market right here in Utah. And I've brought into the studio my friend Gary Wilson. I call him Mr. Real Estate. You have quite a track record doing this strategy and now is the best time to be doing it. I'm excited to hear what you're going to share with us today. Well, I'm just going to share my experience. I, I think there's a lot of great uh, real estate strategies that are out there and you can do a lot of ways to get make money in real estate but right now there's definitely one that I've stopped everything else I'm doing yeah. and focus on it because it's picking up the low hanging fruit basically and there's a lot of it out there more than I can do myself and mm -hmm. more than you know a lot of opportunity more than people have probably the money to because seller financing is coming across where we have uh, opportunity that's never been maybe back in the 80s when the rates were high in the 12s and 16% that time is returned where we're seeing interest rates at seven and a half percent. That's right. So today we're going to give you the Reader's Digest version of this strategy. And if you'd like to follow up with Gary after this video, we're going to give you his phone number, email address, so that if you're interested in getting involved and investing yourself, that you'll know exactly who to talk to and how to get in quickly. This is exciting. You've recently done a lot of other deals so far. I mean, but back in 2004 is when you got started. Give us a little glimpse of how you got into this game. Yeah, back in 2004, I started as a brand new investor, fix and flip. It's kind of the entry level. And one of the strategies that was taught by a guy named Chris Krishner out of Atlanta, Georgia. Cool. I went through a, a, a guru session and um, I learned that when you're going to sell a property after fixing and flipping, you can either put a for sale sign up, but also stick another sign that says rent to own. And rent to own has really launched my real estate career. In two years, I had 70 homes that totaled. Uh, right about 14 million. I had 60 deals ready to go right after that, right as I got the rug pulled out from under me with 2008 coming and everything came to a screeching halt. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I would have put it up to about 30 million in real estate. So 30 million in two years was a crazy run. Not too shabby. No. And you, so you've proven that this model works. And right now, the way things are in our economy with higher interest rates and everything, you're going to show us why that's actually a good thing for those that want to do this strategy. Absolutely. So walk us through this strategy here. Well, basically, if you're a guy that has your real estate, uh, or excuse me, your, your savings put into, say, the stock market, a self-directed IRA, mm -hmm. basically, anytime you have, you're, you have a one-on-one -on -one leverage. You're only going to earn money on what you personally put into the deal. That's right. And so if the stock market's going at an average of 9.5%, you're going to earn, in that year, 9000 some odd dollars on a $100,000 loan. So the the first play that I realized is that there is a big leverage with real estate. Mm -hmm. And if everybody understands that principle, you're going to understand why it's even better today. And that is, if you go get your traditional loan and you take that 100000 put it into a real estate, yeah. you're only putting down one-fourth of that. The bank will give you the other two th or three-fourths. So basically, uh, here is an example. You have 100000 going into a home. You now have an asset that's worth four hundred thousand. Wow. So your loan, your leverage is one to four as far as this asset earnings, and you're 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 maximizing your potential. Mm -hmm. You're now earning off of whatever appreciation earns over a you know a year, two, three, four years down the road, and a buy and hold strategy. Yeah. You're you're not a hundred thousand. You're earning off of. Um, 400. Not it's goodness. a big, huge difference. So you want 100,000 working for you, or do you want to leverage up 400 mm -hmm. and make that work? That's I, I, that's the nutshell of what we're doing. That's why Andrew Carnegie said that more millionaires have been created through real estate than through all industrial investments combined. Absolutely. So, so yeah. some real estate, most people know that. They, they understand mm -hmm. that. But if you're new, that is a principle you need to wrap your mind around. Leverage. Right. So in Utah, what's happened in this market particularly we all saw a crazy growth. The mm -hmm. last 10 years, this is from the, the Salt Lake Board of Realtors, showed that over $238,000 was earned on your home. Wow. 2013, homes were about 262000 and today they're worth five hundred and ten. dollars mm -hmm. So I ask any homeowner, did you earn some of that money? Did you earn, did your home go up? Oh, yeah. Everyone's home went up primarily, so what if you had 10 homes? Even better. If you had 10 homes, you'd be at $2.3 million instead of 280. So how do you go about getting more homes? How do you build a portfolio? That was my focus okay. when I started. So I'm going to show you what's happening today. This is just a comparison of what you're seeing on the screen right here is, you know, real estate one-to-one, -one, 
leveraging one to four with real estate. So I'm going to come down here and show you just a couple things in our market. Our market is changing. And so I'm not an expert. I'm not predicting the future. But what I'm seeing and what everyone's seeing today is that mm -hmm. we've had a big crash. So what's the future going to have? The crash in the market of sales, not a crash, but it's a sales have slowed down. And that's been about a 22% drop in sales. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? How, how do you sell? I've been fixing and flipping. I did 25 homes in the last four years here. And all of a sudden, things came to a screeching halt because mm -hmm. I didn't have buyers. Mm. So I had to adapt, and I had to move on. And I went back to my buy and hold model. Sure. And basically, this is what it looks like. Currently, the rates have gone up to the 7, 7.5. 7 that takes someone who's making a house payment in the past of about $1,800, taking it clear up to 28. It's, it's a high. You're having almost a $1,000 jump. Yeah. It's, it's hard to absorb that on your non-changing income. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing, I didn't get a $1,000 raise, so that prevents you from buying because you can't afford the house. People are house poor. Yeah, and, and their ability to buy has really come down. They, mm -hmm. they could possibly qualify, but then they have to pay this high payment. Exactly. So back in the day, back several years ago, everybody was back in the three and a half, four, five. Mm -hmm. So that's really what we're doing here. With the slowdown in sales, What's happening is that there's a lot of people out there that have all these low rates that you're seeing 4.5, yeah. 2.6, 3.5, all lower than the current bank offer of 7.75. And so I call it a clearance rack, yeah. a clearance sell. Today, the low-hanging fruit in the real estate market is pick up these seller finance deals mm. that they're offering you that low rate. You have a lower payment, and as an investor, there's a big difference on what it takes to pick up a home. Yeah. So let me just illustrate that real quick. Homeowners, on the other hand, they're going to give you that home with a low interest rate. They're going to give you yep. a monthly payment, and they're going to have uh, a very low down payment. And here is what it typically takes to go. And before, if you're a real estate investor, we all had to go put $100,000. That's about 20%. Here on the screen, I have 25% down in some cases. Yeah. You have to have a great credit score. You got to have six months reserves in your bank account. Mm -hmm. You got to have a debt to income ratio that matches up to around the 45 or whatever the rates are. And you have to have two years of tax history. Those are the standard right. requirements. Yeah. That all goes out the window with seller financing. Nice. All you have to do is come in with most cases around 10%. 10% down. Instead of 20. So instead of putting $100,000 down on a home, you're putting 50,000 and no lending requirements. Wow. You're dealing directly with the seller. Yes, that's a good thing. In uh, fact, that's how all the real estate transactions took place before the big bad banks got involved. It was always done like this. Yeah. We're just getting back to basics. We're getting back to the good old days. <laughs> well, it's great right now. And it is. In the last month, you know, we've, we've, we've really been uh, picking up some of these homes. And it, it was such a good opportunity that and I would encourage anybody, if you're looking, just, just evaluate your options. Yeah. I'm not saying this is the only option, but I've stopped doing any lot deals, development deals, fix and flipping. That's all on hold because while the rates are high, mm -hmm. people are offering seller finance. When the rates come back down, the seller finance is You'll have away. another strategy. Yeah. We go back to what we've been doing, mm -hmm. buy homes, qualify for that home loan, mm -hmm. and put a renter in. That's right. So, what I do basically with this, and what's happening is a lot of people are trying to, they can't afford a rate. People can't buy mm -hmm. that 7.75 interest rate home, yeah. so they, they have to rent. Wow. And so what we're doing with our strategy, we pick up a home, we put a renter in, and we build our portfolio. So we okay. build it fast. Again, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing back 20 years ago, and today it's better than it was 20 years ago. Wow. Today is definitely an opportunity. So we do a little bit unique strategy. We don't use a traditional rental. We do a rent to own. Okay. A rent to own gives us a better renter and it, we don't have problems with eviction. I've, I've done my share of evictions, but it'll it, kick it, the doors in because that door could possibly be theirs. Right. Right. They'll treat it nicer the, the property. Yeah. I, I love that. We, we try and find out if they can qualify. Yep. First they qualify, then we'll just roll them into and do a regular loan Beautiful. and help them become a homeowner because they're close. They have, they don't know they're that close. If we investigate their, their situation, find out they, they could buy great good loan, if not, then we put them in plan B, sure. rent-to-own is what we call it. And so we put um, a little bit heavier down payment 
Mm -hmm. We want them to have some skin in the game. Yep. And that also gives us at least three months of safety net. So if I do have to evict, mm -hmm. we can go through, pay for two or three months of rental, get them out, put a new person in. But most cases, I've, I get a better renter. I haven't mm -hmm. had, if you get somebody with a down payment, they become a great tenant. And yeah. You don't even have to talk to them. It's, it's a, a wonder. It's amazing. So our, our model that's worked really well for us is that we stick a sign up mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we're getting the phone calls off the hook. You know, we're getting a lot of people. Yeah. And these people, I put them into rent to We'll tell more about that in another time. But basically, in just here's a one month snapshot. Yeah. Uh, bought four homes with the same $100,000 and put about 1.5 into our pocket and our asset. So that's an asset earning at 4% national wow. average. Utah, we've had as high as 2021. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen when this market goes up. So if the market, um, if these interest rates come down, what's your guess that's going to happen with home sales? You know what? I've heard experts from Dave Ramsey to the sharks on Shark Tank talking about this. And what the Barbara Corcoran said the other day, if we get down into the fives, and they're projecting here probably by May of this year, that we might possibly be there. Now, I don't I, do the feds ever change their minds? Of course they do. So we have other strategies, but the thing is, is that house prices are going to shoot through the roof. Absolutely. That's why Mr. Conservative Dave Ramsey just said, right now is the best time to buy a home. Don't not buy the home. Buy the home, and if interest rates come down, refinance is what he said, close quote. I can't buy houses fast enough right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm running as fast as I can. We're building up some strategies, and our goal is to do exactly that. Yeah. So we're building and picking up all this low-hanging fruit because it Beautiful. doesn't require any bank qualification. It's just cash. Cash is king. Mm -hmm. Right now, cash is king. Yes. And you can pick up properties and, you know, do your own analysis. Find out what that is, but you're, you, there's not a changing. You can't dispute that we're not picking up a bigger asset, leveraging our money. Mm -hmm. That's a 1 in 12, 1 in 15, 1 in 22. We picked up homes that are 15,000. We picked up homes that are 20,000. Uh, wow. These right here, four hundred thousand. We put down thirty-five thousand up here in the green, and got this home. So that's a one in twelve leverage. Wow. My thirty-five thousand is earning me four hundred thousand. That's one in twelve, you know, uh, leverage. Nice. Twenty-five thousand dollars got three hundred eighty. Fifteen thousand dollars got a thirty hundred and thirty. Uh, Twenty-five thousand dollars got a four hundred. So yeah. Now, if this market grows, mm -hmm. I'm growing at fifteen, not my hundred. Wow. So. I, I couldn't do that before. It would only be one in four. Now yeah. it's one in that average there, somewhere between one and 15. Yeah. So it doubles, So triples. the timing of this strategy is key right now. Right This now. is what's working right now. Right now. Beautiful. Don't mess around if you want to build a portfolio. That's right. So the problem is there's more than I can do. Mm -hmm. I can't do all these homes myself. I'm, I'm trying to tap in as many as I can do myself. And we are all limited with our own funds. Absolutely. Even if I had the million dollars in the bank. Absolutely. I just bought four homes. That's a million. Or not a million. I could go buy, I guess, ten more. Mm -hmm. Or four times ten. Uh, but you're limited with your own money. Absolutely. The key to real estate is learning how to partner. You partner with people and you can grow. You're un untapped. The reason I did 70 back in the day mm -hmm. is because I partnered with mom and dad, the real estate uh, guy down the street, yeah. and my, my in-laws friends, neighbors, and uh, so you're not limited. So I'm looking for people that can work with me, and nice. I'm going to build a portfolio for myself yes. and with them. And we'll tell you more about what this looks like, but I, I share everything with them, and we come in and help people uh, put together, and that's why it's working so well, is I, I handle mm -hmm. all the behind the scenes, yeah. and they're just coming in as an investment partner, and we'll pick up a house, I'll deal with the renters, we'll put together the title company, we'll set up an LLC, wow. we'll put a bank, uh, a new bank account together, we mm -hmm. do the insurance on the property, we manage the renter, we do the collection of rents, evictions, what have wow. you, all the way down to the counting. So it's really a, a, a blueprint and a turnkey method to yeah. get into real estate. So maybe you've done well in the stock market, or maybe you're sitting in cash right now. Maybe you're a dentist or a doctor, and you don't know how to spell real estate, but you know that Gary Wilson does. You want to have your money work better for you than, and work harder for you than you did for it. If you're looking for a place to put your money to work, they can reach out to you, partner with you. You're looking for cash partners. That's what this is all about here today. Yep. To help plug people into deals that will work for them right now with this strategy. And 
the, the other takeaway was, I'm going to teach you how to do what I'm doing. Nice. You can take, if I grew to 70, I want to help you grow to 70. It's not Beautiful. just me, you do one home, you do two homes. That's not the opportunity here. Mm -hmm. The opportunity is to follow a system that's working. Yeah. It's working for me. I'm growing very fast. It can grow for anyone. Today is an amazing opportunity with the mm -hmm. seller finances. And so we just basically put you in charge. We will set up an LLC. You control it. I'll mm -hmm. give you 51%. You're not taking over all my other deals. Yeah. But on this one home we buy, you'll have complete ownership. I'm going to set up a note. For any investment, we have a, a note. It's going to record on a deed of trust at the county with a title company. Absolutely. Money goes through the traditional uh, buying mechanism of, of a title company. That protects your investment right there. Right. And then we're um, earnings. We're going to give actually three things. Here on the screen, I show 50% appreciation, 50% cash flow, but also depreciation is a big thing for big your taxes. Time. Yes. We'll split 50-50 on that depreciation asset. We do an aggressive uh, mm -hmm. whatever they call it, where you're actually, de um, you're, mon you're getting that depreciation accelerated. It's accelerated mm -hmm. depreciation right. in the five, seven years instead of over 30, because we're not going to hold it for that long. Um, the other thing I'm going to share with them will be an analysis mm -hmm. of the property. So we'll give you a full breakdown of cash flow. This is Just hard like to this. see on the screen here, but we'll, we have analysis of property. We'll share the notes and the deed of trust that goes with the properties. And then we will illustrate what this home should look like with appreciating yeah. over cash flow, um, also appreciation. And, um, and then people sometimes ask, well, well, where are you getting all these renters? Most people don't have a lot of renting experience. If I've talked to different right. renters, they, they just don't know what to come from a renter. It's, it's the unknown. It's a lot of reasons why people don't get into real estate because they've heard all the horror stories of being a landlord. If you're a doctor or a dentist or somebody has money, but you don't want to be a landlord, how do they get around that? You treat them as a rent own. It's a completely different person. Mm -hmm. And then you have a better tenant. So money kind of qualifies the people to become that better qualified tenant. Mm -hmm. And we're not taking first and last month renters. That's not what we're playing here. This That's is a right. different level of renter that gives us, and there are people that are running around with money. Um, some people make great income. Mm -hmm. They're uh, maybe a commissioned uh, yeah. salesperson. Uh, real estate agents, a lot of times, um, anyone who has good commissions, but maybe they write off certain things so they don't show a very strong tax return. Yeah. They can't qualify for that home, but they're making the money. Those are candidates. Um, we have some people that have great income. They just got lost their job. Yeah. And they need to get, they had a lapse in their job history, so they have to go back. So Interesting. there's a lot of people who are running around, and especially all those people that in the last, um, uh, over the last 10 years, have earned $238,000 in their home. They, they have a hiccup in life, and all of a sudden they have to get this property with um, uh, some type of a, you know, waiting with the bank to qualify them. Mm -hmm. So then we'll, we're that scenario, okay, just bring your money here. We don't have any qualifications. We'll get you in a property. And so we've, we've got a lot of, a lot of people that are this. out there You do calling. the work for them. Yeah. You're, you're helping them to put their money to work for them but you, you're giving them the majority share of that LLC, that partnership. Mm -hmm. They're controlling it. You, they, you've, you've laid out all the numbers for them, and you're teaching them in the process how they can do this over and over and over again. Yes. Now, that's on the rent, on the investor. Yeah. And I was talking a little investor and renters, but yes, the, the investor is going to be able to learn how to come in and play with this. Let me show you this slide. I, I call this kind of a... Some cases, we actually have people where we have enough coming back from a renter yeah. that it reimburse the investor. Okay. So if we go pick up a home, say we start here, I'm just going to point to my screen here. Okay. We start with this guy in the green up top of the, the circle here. Cash partner. He's got 35 grand. Okay. So 35 grand is going to go through a title company. We're going to close a title and then we're, that's going to pay the seller. The seller is going to pick up that 35,000. He walks with us. We collect the property. That's recorded in a deed trust. We go into an LLC down here. Then we move into uh, management where we put a rent-to-own sign up. Nice. This rent-to-own brings in new money. This is new money. This guy's almost like a partner in the house because the renter may come in with as high as 35000 That comes back. I call that boomerang. You throw it out there in the home, and it comes back it comes to you. comes back to you. Not every case do we get that. Yeah. Some cases we're only getting three months. Okay. But what if that guy comes? I've had people walk around with 150000 
I had a guy who told me he had 250, and somebody recently just said, hey, I've got a guy that has 800,000 that, you know, so there's large down payments that yeah. people can make, and they're carrying around, but they can't qualify, so they are a renter. They love the rent-to-own plan. Mm -hmm. So I use rent-to-own as my go-to baby here. But if they get that money back, an investor, we can go do it again. Yeah. So what is the rate of return if the investor puts money into a property and he gets his money back, but he still has ownership in that property? What's the rate of return on that? That would be called infinite. And that's our favorite word. If anybody's out there in the real estate world yeah. can follow that, or if you're looking for an investment, I, I mean, that's what we have here. It's an infinite you believe rate of it or don't believe it. Every deal is going to be a little different, but that can and does happen. You know, I've had this happen where money comes back. Yeah. If it comes back, we go buy house number two. Yeah. Go do the same thing. And we're still using the first 35000 down or $100,000 down. You can buy a couple homes without mm -hmm. putting all your money in. Yes. And I've had a couple people that will say, well, okay, I've got, this is my money, Gary, and, you know, I want to do this myself. Mm -hmm. Take this model and run with it. Absolutely. I, I, you don't have to partner with me. But if you need help, not sure where to go, mm -hmm. I will partner with people because every deal I've ever done, I partnered with someone. I love that. And that has helped me grow. Mm -hmm. So if you want to grow a portfolio, this is a method to learn because I've done it and I'm, if I can do it, I'm the classic pitch. If I can do it, you can do You're it. You're Tommy Lasorda right now. <laughs> but I love that. You're teaching them along the way how to do this over and over again. We talked about if you had 10 properties right now, how much better that would be as far as being able to hit retirement a lot sooner. Now is the time to do it because timing is everything in real estate. And right now with the projections of Utah and where interest rates are starting to go, this won't last very long. So get in while the striking is hot. Get in and strike hard, strike fast right now while you still can because they're, they're projecting Salt Lake City to double in size in the next 10 years. We just got the announcement of Winter Olympics coming back in 10 years from this year. So over the next 10 years, where do you think we're going to be as far as appreciation goes with Utah homes? That's why you want to do it now. Now is the time. You know, figure your own number. Evaluate two, three, or four homes if you just want to start with one. Yeah. You know, you have your own home. Analyze what you made in this market of Utah. Now, can this work in any other market? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Even at a national average appreciation of 4%, this model works. You're still wow. leveraging your money. So it's not doomsday when the rates go down, we're out of an opportunity. No. It just is one degree where we go qualify. The sellers aren't offering these homes anymore. But we can still continue building a portfolio for the ongoing. The key is renters. So basically, you're putting three components. Yes. you got to work with investors. Mm -hmm. you got to work with renters. And right now, we're able to pick up sellers, homeowners. And we're putting all three of these pieces of the puzzle together. And that's our strategy of real estate. You're doing the heavy lifting, and I love that all you need now to plug in are cash partners. So that's, that's why we were creating this video here today. If you're an investor or want to be an investor, maybe you're a real estate agent. Do you know how many few, how few real estate agents actually own real estate? It's baffling to the mind. The majority of them don't ever invest. But now if you're making commissions, you have some cash sitting on the side, you want to put it to work for you, contact Gary. Gary, what's your best phone number? Where can they reach you? It's 801 541 nine seven five seven my email is gary wilson real estate mm -hmm. at gmail.com nice and you know finish on this question if you're asking yourself yeah how many homes you know what's going to happen when the rates go down yeah in our market of utah i think we got the rug pulled out and everything came to a screeching halt yeah i don't think anybody disputes that if you're in real estate you know that everything just pretty well slowed down mm -hmm. to a crawl and when they rates, so the demand was still high. Yes. It's not like we built too many homes. Mm -mm. And so if the rates are still, or the demand is still high, they lower the rates, there's going to be another wave coming. Yep. So I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I, if we have a crystal ball, yeah. ask yourself a couple questions. You know, are the, are the home sales going to go back up? If they go back Without up, question. what's going to happen with, you know, rates people can afford? That demand is going to be there. It's probably going to rise again. Yeah. Because there's so, a shortage of real estate all across yeah. the country. It's not just here in Utah that this can work. This will work all across America. Our population growth is about 2.5, according to Kim Gardner, Hinckley Institute of Politics at the University of Utah. Uh -huh. And um, our permits being for, for new builds is a lower number than that population growth per wow. number. 
So they're not building faster than what we have. Everybody can critique that and look at it many different ways, but yep. that's, you know, my ending. So if you've made 238,000 in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. ask yourself how much more, how many more homes would you like to see like that? That's what I'm offering here. That's what I'm doing. I've focused back in the years. I had a guy who moved to Vegas back in 2003, and uh, Las Vegas was a hot market then. Sure. Uh -huh. And one year he made a hundred thousand. That that light bulb came on in my mind. I thought, oh my gosh, this guy just made a hundred thousand. I'm back here with nothing, and I, I need that hundred thousand was like a million dollars to me. Oh, yeah. I, I just couldn't believe that in one year, that his home value alone. He didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Just his value went up. Yeah. I thought that's that's some amazing leverage. I need it to sure figure is. out how to wrap my mind around that. And here we are today. After starting the first year, getting those 70 homes, you know, lit me under fire, and I was I was eager beaver to go as hard and heavy as possible. So um, today is a better opportunity than back 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Today you have the perfect ingredients, in my opinion, sure. what I'm seeing, and I'm living it right now. Uh, currently, we just closed four homes last month, right out the gate. Had somebody new that came in. He's got four homes with me. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four more ready to go. It's there's more than I can possibly buy. Wow. So there's a lot of abundance here right now while the while the while You're doing about four or five of these a month. So if there's an investor watching this right now and you'd like to get a real estate deal under your belt like this month, contact Gary. Gary, one more time, give the audience your phone number. 801-541-9757. Or Gary Wilson Real Estate at gmail.com. Correct. Awesome, guys. Well, we're so glad to have you here in the studio, Gary. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule today to come teach us this, to come show us what's happening right now in real estate in Utah, which, by the way, was just recently voted the number one state overall. People are coming, guys, and, and, you, and now is the time to jump in. And uh, if you'd like to have time with Gary face to face or on Zoom to go through the numbers, he can send you this presentation as well so you can crunch the numbers yourself. But if you're looking to get into the game of real estate, give him a call today. One more time, the phone number is 801 541 9757. You'll be glad you called him. Have a great day, you guys.